race report. <laughs> Chad and Galen, we just wrapped up a 10 day sit here at the Northwest Vipassana Center. Uh, everyone's left, we're some of the last people here, and uh, we're heading home. What's a What's a Vipassana center? Yeah, so so this this retreat, okay, this is this 10-day course. It's not a meditation course. It is a 10-day intensive badass training session for your mind. Training session. Yeah, yeah, and that's that was the key difference for me. Is I think like meditation, I'm like, oh god, I can barely do that for 20 minutes in like 10 days. That's gonna be awful. But no, it was very, it's very specific, very detailed. I mean, it's still difficult, but but there was, uh, it was very effective training. It wasn't a just like delivering information, but it was actually experiential. Um, as you're doing this practice, you're like noticing your body in this whole sort of vacuum of, a, of an experience. Uh, 10 days of silence, 10 yeah, days of yeah. no eye contact, 10 days of touching, 10 days <laughs> no of touching, yeah. men and women being separated, yeah. 10 days of uh, meditating like six hours a day, slowly. Six to 10. Six to 10, depending upon yeah. you meditated more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but you're working to like learn a certain technique, yeah. the Vipassana technique. Um, and what is your, yeah, yeah. On well, the technique, um, it's not a religious thing. It's not about. Uh, it's it's more about noticing the ways that you create your own craving and um, and aversions in your life, which ultimately leads to your own uh, suffering. Um, so through this practice, you become more aware of like things you're like, oh, I gotta have this, or I really don't want that, and so you can be a lot more. Um, even keel and, and just present uh, in everyday life. Good way to be. So takeaways, uh, let's see, I got three. What do I got? I think a lot about bicycles. <laughs> a lot, a lot about bicycles, a lot about the bike racing team. I got a lot of clarity on a lot of uh, choices and directions I wish to head with my life. And uh, I'm getting better. I've been doing this for about seven years and I'm like stoked to see this technique getting better and better and better and I, uh, I'm, I'm excited to bring this into my racing, into my training. And final takeaway is I'm so excited to rip on my bicycle. <laughs> I miss this. I mi yeah. What you got? Uh, takeaway, you know, for me, it's it, like one big takeaway, and that is how much uh, craving is mm. uh, is a charge for me. Whereas like the aversion, you know, like I'll welcome discomfort, you know, hard training, like I'll welcome the difficulty, but it's the, I always like, I always want, you know, ugh, and that, and that, that could, there's, that's where I start to, to go, to go off the deep end for me is just being aware of how much I just crave this or that. And I'm led by that. Huh. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to just being present um, in my life, in my training, uh, and you know, going, you know, in a competitive sense, being there, you know, striving, striving without, uh, without craving. Um, what do you think about the most? <laughs> Uh, I, I thought about sex the most. <laughs> okay, okay. But uh, yeah, and then and then food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <okay. laughs> and and, and uh, I guess it, I guess I thought about cycling a little. I thought about comedy. <laughs> I thought about jokes. <laughs> I, thought yeah. about, I came up with a lot. Do of you jokes. think you'll come back? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. I highly recommend this for for anybody who is uh, a human. <laughs> I highly recommend it. Yeah. All right. Final shout outs. Uh, our teammate Jonathan Wood. Yes. He's coming out here actually on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, in a few days for his first sit, and I'm I'm stoked for this guy to to check this out. Right on. You got, you got any final words? Uh, uh, you know, keep on, keep on, keeping on. Right on. Right on. Be happy. Now everybody telling me a lie. Lord, give me something for my soul.